Josh Bangert saw his future as any other teenage boy. I hate these questions. He's always been kind of a joyful kid and just kind of sweet and fun and goofy and doesn't take anything too heavy and serious. <laughs> just taking it. Most days I go and play basketball either in my driveway or at, or at the school. And then after that, I like to play video games. But soon, Josh's picture-perfect world would become unclear. <laughs> I'm sorry. He was playing a basketball game, and after the game, he said, hey, my vision in my left eye, it's kind of blurry. And he just more or less said, well, I think it's just that I'm dehydrated. At first, it like only happened during basketball when I'd get super hot and sweaty. Favorite like childhood song? I thought I just needed glasses for like three months, and then finally on a Saturday, my mom brought me in, and I had no prescription for my left eye. And on September 17th, Josh was diagnosed with Labor's hereditary optic neuropathy, a genetic mutation some would call one in a million, and change his life as he knows it. When we were in the doctor's office, and it was occurring to me that, oh my goodness, this is probably that disease, you know, and I was kind of getting Josh ready to hear the news. And he's, he's like, oh, well, so how do they operate? And I said, well, there's, there's no operation. They can't do that. He's like, well, what else can they do? And I said, there isn't anything. All right, I'm going to go practice. And the impact of his diagnosis didn't only blindside him, well, you found it. but his family members as well. Initial reaction was a lot of sadness for him. In looking down the road type things, like seeing the face of your newborn child, might not get that opportunity. So that was a lot of the stuff I thought about initially. And as Josh has continued to lose his sight, his family has found a new focus, which has opened a door to a new path of life. I feel like we've just like thought differently about everything. I didn't, like I took everything for granted, but now I feel like I'm doing more stuff, like trying to go places and hang out with friends more. It's more this way than it is this way. And after seeing the compassion from their community, the Bangerts have a new perspective for what's to come. I've gotten more used to it. Being from West Chicago, we always feel like we kind of get a bad rap. And this has been such a testimony to the fabric that we are made of. And I've pointed out to so many people that there's such great hope for our future because of this generation of kids and how they care for one another. For GTV News, I'm Carly Rasmussen reporting.